Hey guys, Connor here with Chrome Designs and thank you for watching this video. Uh, today I've got a Cinema 4D tutorial for you guys and what we're going to be looking at today is we're going to be looking at the cloth eye tags within Cinema 4D. And saying that name, uh, many of you may not even heard of this or understand it, or even if you do, you may not understand exactly what it does. Uh, so instead of me giving a brief information about what it does, I'll let you watch this animation and I'll tell you beforehand that this is just made by s s some simple tags. Uh, let's go ahead and watch as you see and that is it um, you got the square coming down uh, the material is an extra thing uh, but it comes down and it bounces off the floor and it kind of molds itself onto the floor again a lot of, um, applying the rule of physics here uh, if any of you ever played the game I, I believe it's jelly car or yeah jelly car on the I I iphone or ipod on the app store uh, it kind of gives that kind of effect and looks like jelly and that's going to be today's tutorial uh, still skimming through here. Uh, so I'm just going to do to file and new. And I'm not going to open anything quite yet. Here we go. No. Cancel. File open. Not open. I'm joking. File new. And we're just going to set up our basic scene. Uh, you can't use a floor for this. It doesn't work. So first we're going to make a plane. And you want to make you want to like stretch out the plane as if it were a floor. So just go ahead and extend the points here. Obviously, you can change the width and the height uh, in the attributes panel down here. And we've got the basic floor set up. Go ahead and add a cube. Obviously, it doesn't have to be a cube. It can be any shape you want. Uh, but I like a cube. It gives a nice effect. And I'm just going to drag it up here. And one other thing, I'm going to zoom in on the cube. And I'm going to rotate it. Uh, so you notice when it came down, it kind of landed on the corner, so the corner squished or whatever, as opposed to being flat. And so it's not so symmetrical, it's more random effect. And uh, that's looking okay, I suppose. I'll maybe drag it down a little bit, it's maybe a bit too high. The velocity will be too extreme, there we go. Not below the plane, there we go. And obviously, nothing will happen now, it's just, a, just really a cube in a plane. So I'm going to add a quick material. And you go to file and new material and right click and I'm going to edit the material and I'm going to go to color texture I'm going to go to surfaces and checkerboard and I'm going to change the black and white to a nice red so it's white and red there we go and apply that on the cube so now you can quickly see uh, uh, the cube itself and what we're going to do is on the plane if you hit C on the keyboard and that will edit the layer there you go, make sure you do hit C, unlike me. And once you've hit C, go to Tags, and go to Cloth Eye Tags, and go to Collider. And also you notice no effect. And then on the cube, uh, if you increase the segments by 3 and 3, so everything's 3, so it's all symmetrical, uh, that, 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 that'll be the points that kind of, uh, we'll use the kind of word squish. And once you've set them to 3, hit C on the keyboard again, and go to Tags, and go to... Cloth eye tags and cloth, not collider. And immediately we go to hit play here, it will fall down and it starts to bounce off the floor. And that's a nice effect. Uh, there's a lot more you can do with this, so I've been working with it for a couple of hours now. And the, it's got a high extent, you know, you can work along for a long time with it. So if you want to learn some more in depth about this, uh, it does give a nice effect. Uh, I made a nice intro with it, in fact. Um, but yeah, if you want to know more about this, uh, just say so, and I'll probably make a more in-depth tutorial. If not, no harm done. But anyway, that's all for me, guys. Uh, thanks for watching this video. That's just quickly learning the cloth eyed uh, effect in Cinema 4D. I'm in Chrome Designs. Thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.